Coffee is a beloved beverage that is enjoyed by millions of people around the world. It is a drink that has the power to energize and invigorate, and its rich and complex flavor profile has made it a staple in the daily routines of many. However, behind every cup of coffee lies a fascinating story of how this precious commodity is farmed and produced. The journey of coffee begins on the coffee plantations, which are typically found in tropical regions of the world. These plantations are meticulously maintained to ensure that the coffee plants receive the ideal growing conditions. The coffee plants require specific soil conditions, a warm and humid climate, and just the right amount of rainfall to thrive. The farmers who tend to these plantations work tirelessly to maintain these conditions, often employing traditional farming techniques passed down through generations. Once the coffee cherries have ripened on the plants, they are carefully harvested by hand. This labor-intensive process is carried out with great care, as the quality of the coffee beans is heavily dependent on how the cherries are picked. After harvesting, the coffee cherries are then processed through a variety of methods, each of which imparts a unique flavor profile to the beans. One of the most common methods of processing coffee is the washed method. In this method, the outer layers of the coffee cherry are removed leaving behind only the beans. The beans are then soaked in water for a period of time to remove any remaining fruit residue before being dried in the sun or using mechanical drying methods. Another popular method of processing coffee is the natural method. In this method, the entire coffee cherry is left intact and the cherries are laid out to dry in the sun. As the cherries dry, the fruit around the beans shrinks, imparting a distinct fruity flavor to the beans. Finally, the honey method involves removing some but not all, of the fruit from the coffee cherry before drying the beans. This process produces a bean with a sweet, honey-like flavor. Once the beans have been processed, they are sorted and graded based on their size, shape and color. The highest quality beans are carefully selected and shipped to coffee roasters around the world, where they are roasted to perfection. Coffee roasting is an art form in itself, and skilled roasters carefully monitor the roasting process to ensure that each batch of coffee is roasted to its optimal level. The roast level can greatly affect the flavor of the coffee, with lighter roasts producing a brighter, more acidic flavor, and darker roasts producing a richer, more intense flavor. After roasting, 
The coffee beans are packaged and shipped to retailers and coffee shops around the world, where they are ground and brewed into the delicious beverage that we all know and love. The journey of coffee from farm to cup is a fascinating and intricate process that involves the careful cultivation and processing of coffee cherries, followed by the skilled roasting and preparation of the beans. The end result is a beverage that has the power to bring people together and provide a much needed boost to start the day. So the next time you take a sip of your morning cup of coffee, take a moment to appreciate the artistry and hard work that went into bringing the delicious brew to your doorstep. Coffee has its roots deeply embedded in the tropical regions of our planet. The geographical and climatic conditions required to cultivate and harvest coffee are rather specific, which is why coffee farming is mainly limited to certain regions of the world. These regions, known as the Coffee Belt, are located between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, where the temperature, humidity, and altitude provide the ideal environment for coffee plants to thrive. Some of the most prominent coffee-producing countries are found in Central and South America, including Colombia, Costa Rica, Brazil, and Guatemala. These countries boast a long and rich history of coffee cultivation, with many small family-owned farms still using traditional methods to grow and harvest their crops. The lush mountainous regions and rich soils of these countries provide the ideal conditions for coffee plants to grow, resulting in high-quality coffee with distinct flavor profiles. In Africa, Ethiopia is considered the birthplace of coffee, with coffee being a vital part of the country's cultural and economic heritage. Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda are also notable coffee-producing countries, with their unique terroir and farming methods yielding flavorful and aromatic coffee beans. In Asia, coffee farming is prevalent in Indonesia, which is the world's fourth largest coffee producer. The country's diverse geography and climate provide ideal conditions for growing a variety of coffee species, including the famed Sumatran and Javanese coffees. Furthermore, coffee is also produced in the Pacific Islands, particularly in Hawaii, where the volcanic soil and year-round warm weather provide the perfect conditions for growing coffee. The unique terroir of the region contributes to the distinctive flavor profile of Hawaiian coffee, making it highly sought after by coffee connoisseurs. In recent years, there has been a surge in specialty coffee production in regions such as Ethiopia and Costa Rica, where small farmers are experimenting with new techniques and varietals to produce coffee with even more nuanced flavors and aromas. Coffee is mainly farmed in the regions within the coffee belt, which spans across Central and South America Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands.
The combination of specific geographical and climatic conditions, along with the farmer's knowledge and expertise, is what makes each cup of coffee unique and complex in its flavor profile. The art and science of coffee farming is a true testament to the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet. Coffee is consumed in various ways around the world. Whether it is the traditional Italian espresso or the popular American drip coffee, each preparation method imparts a unique flavor and aroma to the beverage. One of the most common ways to drink coffee is by brewing it with hot water using a drip coffee maker or French press. This method produces a smooth and mild flavor with notes of caramel, nuts, or chocolate, depending on the origin and roast level of the coffee beans. This type of coffee is typically consumed with cream, milk, or sugar, which can be added to balance the bitterness of the coffee and enhance its sweetness and creaminess. Espresso, on the other hand, is a concentrated form of coffee that is brewed using high-pressure water and finely ground coffee beans. This method results in a rich and bold flavor with a thick layer of creamer on top that adds to the sensory experience of the drink. Espresso is typically served in small, Demitas cups and can be consumed on its own or used as a base for other coffee beverages, such as cappuccino, latte, or macchiato. In many parts of Europe, particularly in Italy, coffee is consumed as a social ritual, with a strong emphasis on the art of making and enjoying the beverage. In these countries, coffee shops or cafes are often the center of social gatherings where people come together to chat, read, or simply enjoy a cup of coffee while observing the world go by. In some cultures, coffee is also consumed as a part of religious or spiritual ceremonies. In Ethiopia, for instance, Coffee is an integral part of the coffee ceremony, a ritual that involves roasting and brewing coffee beans and serving the coffee to guests in small cups. The ceremony is a symbol of hospitality and friendship, and the aromatic coffee is often accompanied by snacks or traditional pastries. Finally, the rise of specialty coffee shops and third-wave coffee culture has popularized new methods of brewing and consuming coffee, such as pour-over, cold brew, and nitro coffee. These methods highlight the complexity and diversity of coffee flavors and aromas, and are often consumed black, without any added milk or sugar. Coffee is a versatile and multifaceted beverage that is consumed in various ways around the world. Whether it is the traditional drip coffee, the bold and intense espresso, or the specialty brews, each preparation method highlights the unique qualities and flavors of the coffee beans. The culture and rituals surrounding coffee consumption are a testament to the profound impact that this humble beverage has had on our lives and society.